The C-16 Typhoon, the Spanish name for the Eurofighter 2000 fighters, is being technically upgraded to the so-called Phase 2 Enhancement, or Trench 3 package. This improvement is especially focused on three systems, the radar, the data link system, and the new meteor missiles. The Eurofighter have three detection systems, basically. The radar, where a beam continually sweeps the range of space covered by it, to actively illuminate possible targets. A fixed AESA current radar covers an arc of about 120 degrees and has an average range of about 280 kilometers. In contrast, the new Captor E radar, which is being installed in the C 16 Typhoon, extends its detection arc up to more than 180 degrees and a maximum range of about 400 kilometers. Here we can see the detection capabilities of the Eurofighter Captor E radar in relation to the detected target surface. This radar allows the simultaneous tracking of multiple objectives, the guidance of long-range missiles, and the improvement of the so-called situational awareness of the pilot. In addition to the radar, the Eurofighters also incorporate an infrared search and tracking system, or IRST. It is a passive radar, since it detects and tracks acquired targets without emitting any type of signal. In the C-16 Typhoon, it reaches up to 50 kilometers and can follow up to 10 targets simultaneously. And the third detection system in Eurofighter's aircraft are the Electronic Detection Systems, or ESM, and, therefore, the Generation of Electronic Countermeasures, or ECM. Housed in the extreme pots of the wings, or under the fuselage of the plane, they will be in charge of locating targets by the radar signals emitted. And, consequently, once detected, try to neutralize them, or, at least, interfere with them. They tend to be of a higher range than the aircraft's own radar. Now, in second place, let's explain what the improvements of the C-16 Typhoon consist of, as regards the data link system. This is the MIDS program, in which USA, France, Italy, Germany and Spain participate. Its purpose is the design, development, production and operational deployment of MIDS equipment. It allows transmitting and receiving information between military platforms, naval, surface and submarine, and terrestrial, in a very safe and resistant to electromagnetic interference caused from outside. As we see in the animation, the C-16 Typhoon is integrated in a multi-domain of communications, which ensures the detection and sharing of objectives, regardless of the platform that performs it. The MIDS terminals interconnect different weapon platforms, up to a distance of about 480 kilometers. and the Spanish Eurofighters are improving their air-to-air -air attack capacity with the new Meteor, medium and long-range missiles. As we see in this graph, the Soviet air tactics, it seems that it has always opted for the simultaneous launching of rounds of two missiles, at least. Logically, the missiles of different platforms can proceed, whether they are based on air, sea or land. With this type of evasive actions, being optimistic in its final effectiveness, the kill probability could be reduced up to 50, with a salvo of two missiles. And the kill probability of the plane, would reach 90%, with a salvo of four missiles.